Good morning. Uh, how how you doing? How how are you doing? How are you doing? How am I? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, episode fourteen. Skirts are fruitier. Episode thirteen, or as a uh, U two. What is it? U two. Uno, dos, tres, catorce. Is that vertigo? The music is not very good anymore. I mean, I don't know if it was like the best music, but I mean, they had some, they had some bangers. <laughs> oh, my lips hurt so much. They're so chapped, dude. How dry is it around SoCal right now, Dal? I feel like I take a shower and I feel like I feel like I feel like I say I feel like so much. What's that? What's that about? But my hands are so dry. Like this cold, windy stuff that's going on outside. I feel like I could just clo like make a fist with my hands and I'm going to start bleeding from my knucks, dude. Just bleed from my knucks. And it's so cold in the morning. <laughs> I'm taking those showers that like I just make the 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 water like hotter and hotter as I'm in there and I don't want to leave. I don't want to get out of the shower and just let like the hot water do its thing. I because I don't have a jacuzzi. I don't I'm I'm not, I don't have a koozie life. No koozie. And I'm not talking about around like the can. Like a jacuzzi. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't, and I don't have, I, I need some chapstick too. I should have had chapstick and I should have water. Two of things, two of, two of which I don't have, which would help my cause of chap lips. And I've heard people say chapstick doesn't help chap lips. What's that about? All of chapstick, just a placebo. And just like, if anything, like, at least get the medicated stuff. I'm talking about. I'm, I'm talking about chapstick, on my podcast. Chapstick. This episode of Schizophrenia brought to you by Chapstick. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's just been super. It's just been cold, and for Southern California, dude, cold is like under sixty degrees. Like, why is that? And I've had too much caffeine, so at least that's going on. So at least it's got my like heart working, and it's like warming me up a little bit. I don't know. But I, I just feel cold. And now that I've pointed it out, and I'm shaking the camera, now I'm just cold. And I'm going to need some water. This is... Uh... Yeah, my stomach's growling now. Great. Great. Now my stomach's upset. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, episode 14. I feel like it's been like a week since the last one. <laughs> and it has. Uh, it always feels like much longer. Oh, oh, I need some water. Give me some water. Hey, uh, I'm just going to ask my producer real quick to give me some water. Uh, could I get a glass? I don't have a producer, man. I don't, I'm just in this alone. I'm in my room talking to myself alone. Needing some water. Water? Like Spongebob. Uh, I mentioned Spongebob in the last episode. Because today, I'm starting that, uh, I'm starting that stand-up class, which I'm nervous AF for. I am so stinking nervous. Like, I'm stoked, but nervous. I'm stervous. Or noked. That's dumb. That doesn't work. Uh, I'm, I just... Like I don't know what it I don't know what it what it's gonna be like. I kinda know, but I I don't. Because I know I'm just gonna learn about like stand up stuff. I don't know if it's learning about like writing the stand up stuff, or if it's gonna be like go up there and just ready go and no you're not funny. Here's where you could be funny, work on this, work on that, and then we'll just keep working on it until the end where there's a there's a a uh, a live performance which is scaring the shit out of me. But here I am with my hand raised, volunteering to do it. 
Uh, I was listening to a Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld uh, stand-up the other day. Um, and he pointed out that the number one fear uh, that humans have is public speaking. And the number two is dying. So people would rather be in the casket than like saying the eulogy. But uh, I'm paying to take a class to, to be up there saying the eulogy. So I don't know. I, I was, I do that all the time. Like I, I like, I want to do something and I, I like, you know, I'm going to love this. I'll sign myself up for it. And then as it gets closer, I'm like, oh dude, I'm stoked for that. And then the day comes and I'm like, holy shit. Uh, I don't want, but I don't want to, like, I want to, but like, no, <laughs> that's all it is. That's the feeling. Yeah, let's do it. But no, <laughs> so many times. That's that's what nervous is to me. All right, let's do it. But no. So today I'm just gonna be. It's it's pretty nerve wracking, dude. I don't know if I can do it, dude. But I think I can. So there there's that. It's like. It's like what I've I've said in previous episodes where it's like I feel like I do feel like knowledge is power and having the knowledge of how to do certain things just gives me confidence with it. And I have this thing where if I see other people doing it and I don't think they're that great at it, I always tell myself like, well, I can do that and do it better. But I've, it's a different thing when it's fucking stand up comedy, man. Like there's so many people that are doing it well. But there's, I mean, there's also a lot of people that like, uh, ooh, train wreck. But you have to work through that stuff to get to where the good people are. And the, I mean, some people are just like stinking hilarious. Like the, if you listen to the Crystalia podcast, holy crap like so funny that dude and he just he just does it like this he's just like himself and he's just chilling and he just talks and he's just hilarious um so if you haven't listened to that podcast uh it's called congratulations um i recommend it because that's what i'm listening to because it's so funny dude like um Anyways, uh, man, I need some water. Ugh, no water? For real? How do I not have water, dude? Come on. In the closet, maybe? No? <laughs> I look in the closet for water. What is this? <sighs> man. Okay. Um, so, yeah, my, uh, I was talking to my buddy the other day. Uh, my buddy, Anonymous. <laughs> He will be name. He will. He will be. He will remain nameless, right? He will be remained nameless, anonymous. Uh, so anonymous told me the other day. He was like, "Dude, I can't wait to have a bigger place so I can have a room that's just you know my man cave." But here's the thing: the dude's gonna live by himself. Like literally, any room he's in is going to be the manliest room. So what are you doing? Like, why do you need your own, like, manly room if when you're in the kitchen, that's the manliest room? You know why? That's where you are. That You're there. And why do you want to go back in time? Why do you want to revert back to caves? You have a house. You're going to have an apartment place. Like you have a place in an apartment building. It's a building. Man has come so far, worked so hard to create those. And yet you still want a cave. Why is that? And I think I was thinking about that. I was like, what, like, why do men want caves? First of all, men are dumb. And uh, just like the way we think is just so simple. 
So we want to like simplify everything. So it's just like, I want cave. I am man. Man want cave. I make cave for me. <laughs> and we're selfish. So that's another thing. Um, but I think men are just jealous and they want their own cave because why does the bear get to have his own cave? So men are just looking at the animal kingdom, which first of all, the animal kingdom is a kingdom in the human race is it's a race. And I don't know about you. I don't like to run. So why am I running in this race? I'd rather be in a kingdom. I don't see that. I mean, I, animals still run. They're still running around their kingdom, but it's in their own kingdom. They don't have to race each other. No one's racing each other in the animal kingdom. Only humans race each other. For like, for metals. Like literal metals. Like what? Weird. It blows my mind. So men are jealous that animals have their kingdom and they have to run in this race. And they they're looking at <laughs> they're looking at all of the couples. All you look at any animal, and some stick out more than others. You look at animal couples. And they're like, well, that one belongs with that one because they're the same looking thing. Like you do that with humans too. But animals the men have like the man, the man animals, the manimals, the manimals have like the lion has the mane, right? And the moose has the huge like antler things and the deer has the antlers and you know, the elephants have like those tusks and stuff. And you look at, uh, you look at man who is worse looking than the woman in this case. Because they just have, you know, their parts. They just have their parts. They're, you know, whatever. But women have, you know, their curves and their nice uh, feet and toes and stuff. And men are like, okay, that, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to make my own cave because I'm better than the bear. And I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll use him as a rug in my man cave and I'll take out my gun and I'll go hunting and I'll take out a lion. I'll take out an elephant. I'll take out a deer, like the buck thing. And I'll hang those heads on my wall in my man cave. And I'll have my own kingdom because, because my wife said I, I, I could have it. Like they, that's not I like, Men are so, women are so superior <laughs> because man is like, oh, you know what? I want my own room with my own man stuff. Can I, can I have my own room, babe? Is that, is that cool if I, yeah, I can. Sweet, sweet. I'm going to hang up animal heads. I'm going to have a bear rug. I'm going to put my TV and my video games. I'm going to spend as much time as I can in there if I if I can't, can I, can I, can I, <laughs> they need permit. They still need permission. But what if we flip the script on that? What if animals are taking out humans? What if, what if a pig in his own pig sty has like in his own, like the piggiest part of the sty? In his own, like, this is my pig's die. Oink, oink. <laughs> what if in that section, he has, like, the head of, like, a human? What if he has Kevin Bacon's head on the wall? And he's like, nah, dude, I'm better than that. Because I'm actual bacon. Or will become actual bacon. Or what if, like, a polar bear... Here's about vanilla ice. <laughs> and he's like, no, nah, you're not. I'm colder than you, man. Like, I'm going to have that head on my igloo wall in my bear cave. Since I am a bear, I can have a cave. So what if he's loading up his, like, glacier with... <laughs> what 
what if he's i'm picturing like a polar bear with like a a hunting hat on with like a one of those fluffy folds in the front and like the ear covers and like a bright orange vest <laughs> he has like his glacier raft thing that he just like shoves off and like whoa <laughs> and he has like his sniper rifle that he got which is so small to him because bears are huge polar bears are like eight foots long eight f yeah so what if he has his gun and he's got his six pack of coca-cola and he's going up to alaska because vanilla ice is doing his last run of entertainment at the food and wine festivals across <laughs> food and wine festivals always have the worst entertainment it's like oh get all this like great food great wine and entertainment tonight the entertainment at this food and wine festival is sugar ray like <laughs> no one cares about sugar ray anymore oh mark mcgrath with his like plastered face now like i just want to fly like what are you doing man why are you still singing and he's been wanting to fly for a long time so just do it already dude but anyways vanilla ice and you know what <laughs> i looked up vanilla ice because I, I was like okay is he st one is he still alive two uh i would just want to hear that song again and uh three what's his real name what's vanilla ice's real name and you want to know what i found out a couple things he is still alive also that song still sucks and his i guess it's a few things because that's three uh and his real name is robert van winkle how disappointing is that name? Like, I don't even know what that sounds like. Like, that sounds like some... I, I don't even know. Robert Van Winkle? Like, imagine him showing up to, like, audition for... Or, like, to show his music off to people and, like, wanting to get a record deal. And like, yo, what up? Yo, VIP, let's kick it. He's like, yo, I'm Vanilla Ice. And they're like, uh, okay, Mr. Ice. Uh, but can I call you Ice or Vanilla or uh, what's your name? He's like, oh, it's, uh, oh, my, my real, oh, my real name? Uh, pardon me. My real name is, uh, Robert Van Winkle. I'm sorry about that. Like, <laughs> Robert Van Winkle? And like, no, wait. Okay, funny joke. Like, okay, it's vanilla. Yeah, your name's Vanilla Ice. Funny. Uh, well, I would assume it's Robert Van Winkle, but no, what's your real name? He's like, no, it's no, it's Robert Van Winkle. I'm like, oh, uh, okay, I'll just call you Vanilla. All right, Vanilla, what do you got for us? He's like, all right, let's kick it. <laughs> like, what? What? The '90s were a, a, a very interesting place, in time, place and time. The music that went on, like. A lot of good stuff, a lot of bad stuff. And the worst of it was Vanilla Ice. I just remember <laughs> I remember his song, Ninja Rap. Because growing up, I was a huge Ninja Turtles fan. And so were my brothers. And we played the, the, uh, the video games, the arcade games. We had the action figures. Uh, my favorite was Raph. Um... And I feel like that was just like, oh, well, it, my favorite can't be the same as his. And you like him. So, I, yeah, I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go Raph. Even though I think I'm more like Michelangelo because I'm just kind of like a, a derpy dude. And I, like, never take anything seriously. And I think that's why I'm going to do well in this class, in this stand-up class tonight. That like it's starting tonight, and I'm like, I'm, yeah. I keep reminding myself like, oh uh, yeah, that's still tonight, right? Because <laughs> I'm just so nervous. But 
I think that's why I'm going to do well in this class because I don't take anything seriously. And it's weird, like, it's weird being nervous for a class that's going to be about, like, being funny. Like, the nature of the class is to be funny. So, like, it's a class where all the class clowns go. These are my people. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm not going to get, like, an assignment that's going to, like, uh, why do I have to do that? It's like, it's like, here, be funny. Like, oh, okay, well, I would try to do that anyway. It's like, when I get, and I think, I, oh, I'm just thinking, that's why I'm, like, bouncing around. I'm pinging in my head. Ding, 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 ding. I, I think why I have the sense of humor that I do, and because... Like I, the reason why I don't take many things seriously is because I've gotten in trouble like a lot in my life. And I always get through it by like laughing at myself or laughing at the situation. And that's like the best part about that and the worst part. But I feel like I need to, I feel like counter on this episode. I've, I've said it so many times and I was going to say it again. Uh, but yeah, it, it'll be, it'll be good. I'm nervous for a stand up class, which is seems silly, but I'm just sharing that, sharing that with you. Listener, listenees. If you're the listener, does that make me the listenee? Is that a thing? I always think if there's an er of something, there's an e of something. Like there's an interview, interviewer, and there's an interviewee. Like I'm the interviewer, so that makes you the interviewee. You're the listener, so that makes me the listenee. I don't think that is always the case, though. But why not? The English language is confusing. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, uh, coming up, uh, after, after, I mean, this week I got the, uh, I got the stand up class tonight, which I'll, I'll keep you updated on. Um, I mean, I don't, I listen to like comedians podcasts and stuff and they try not to like use their material on it because, uh, you know, it, then you're not surprised when you go to the show and it's not like, oh, well, yeah, I know, I know this bit because you do it, you did it on the podcast this week and then, yeah, but, uh, I want to, I want to like let you guys know what it's, what it's about and like just what it's like and just how it was. I don't know. I, I don't hear of, of people taking stand up classes all the time and I think it's interesting to hear about. I think it will be. I think it would be. So there will be me talking about it. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Do you, do you know Alaska? Do you know what I mean? Do you know? Do you know? But uh, I got the stand-up class tonight. <clears throat> as my stomach turns. And I have uh, I'm going to Legoland on Sunday. Uh, and they have the same shitty hours. Like why ten to five? They're open ten to five. Ten to, seven hours. Why? Why? Why only seven? And then, uh, I did check, and Coaster Source is open now. It's not gonna be closed for the season. There's no more. Se I mean, there's still seasonal closures, but it's not Coaster Source anymore. So. Uh, yeah, I'll do, you know, I'll, I'll, I, I plan on, uh, I plan on doing a little vlog for the, for the YouTube channel. Uh, I guess maybe not, it might not be like a, I don't know if it's like a vlog. I don't know if you could say that, but it'll be, there'll be a video of the experience, the Scotsofronio experience at Legoland round two. Um, even though there will only be a video of the second round, which is, that's just Scout's life. So, 
Um, but I have agreed to edit that video. Um, so apparently I just edit videos of me going to theme parks, I guess, because um, I don't think I'm my life is that interesting. Uh, but and I'm not like a try hard. I'm not going to like try to make daily life interesting. Like, yo, brushing my teeth <laughs> video. It's not, it's not interesting because that's what I've done so far today. I've taken a shower. I've brushed my teeth. I've had hot, I've had hot coffee. Almost said coffee there, but coffee is not a thing. Hot coffee. Um, but yeah, I've agreed to edit that video. So that'll be video two for me. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a fun one. Because I know the lay of the land. I know the lay of the Lego land. Lay of the Lego land. Uh, and uh, yeah, like what to hit first, you know? And then uh, I just I just can't be nervous to film stuff. Which I think as I move forward and I'm starting to do things more to like get myself out there. Um, like it started, it starts with this and then the stand up class. And then as I like want to make more videos of just um, stuff for schizophrenia, I feel like it's all, I'm just put myself out there in hopes that in this piece of shit world we're living in with shitty stuff happening all the time, that it you can laugh about stuff and uh well it's kind of weird i uh i'm kind of getting emotional about that because of what happened in florida but uh yeah i feel like there's a bunch of stuff that has been going on that like shouldn't ever and so what better time to like make people laugh and smile and stuff if it's you know, then now in this confusing shitty world that we're in with this weirdo in the white house and stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's the main goal of all this. And so, um, I guess that, that kind of gets me pumped though. Cause I feel like, <laughs> I feel like number 18 of the episode, um, it, it's like, it's like food and like alcohol. <laughs> like people are always, people are always going to need food and people are always going to feel the need for alcohol. And people are always, people are always going to need to laugh. So I think in starting something like a stand up, uh, thing for myself that's something that all that i can keep in mind that like people i need to do this because people need to laugh and people need to have better days all the time um it's like getting darker outside it's kind of weird because the sun's going behind the clouds anyways uh Jeez, oh, I like gonna be honest. Almost started uh, tear, almost almost teared up there. Almost did a little bit, but not not so much the where it was going down my face. But now yeah, that happened. Uh, anyways, uh, that has been uh, that has been what what I've been doing and what I've been thinking about. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you have a uh, I hope you have a good week. Um, yeah, and, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in on the stuff. Uh, look forward to, uh, a Legoland video, a Coastersaurus review. Um, I'm so stoked for that. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's good to have stuff to look forward to. So, um, and as much as I'm nervous for tonight, I, I'm looking forward to it because it's, like I said, it's a class for the class clowns, which is so, it's so weird. The concept is just funny to me. 
but uh yeah thanks for listening uh and uh hope you have a good week or however long it is until i until you listen to whatever again i don't know what i'm saying coffee's done i i need some water uh yeah take care <laughs>